All right, so last night we played our first preseason game, and now we have our stock up, stock down, or stock the same. After the first preseason game, and listen, we have a lot of information now. After that first preseason game, we know that Jake Browning, whatever he's going through, man is going through it, okay? Very much struggled, and I will say, I don't think we can really blame too much on the wide receivers last night while Jake Browning was quarterback because it seemed like it was a Jake Browning problem, not a receiver problem. So it's definitely one of those situations where we got to take everything, you know, with what we saw somewhat for salt when it comes to, you know, Jake Browning being quarterback when he was quarterback. But yes, Joe Burrow gets a green. He was in for one drive, went right down the field, scored a touchdown, exactly what he needed to do. He avoided getting hit on a couple of different occasions, which is perfect, especially, you know, keeping him healthy 100%. Jake Browning, absolute red. I mean, he looked horrendous. He looked absolutely awful. Um, not sure what, what's the funk and what he's going through with his funk. But his funk is absolutely horrendous, and he needs to get going again because that was horrible. Zach Moss didn't play last night. So it was Chase Brown as a starter, then Travion played, and then um, also Chris Evans played. By the way, in case you're wondering, where's the, where's the rest of these guys? There we go. So we have bubble players and we have 53-man roster. These are players who are currently on the bubble and these are players who 100%, I believe, will make the 53-man roster. So we're looking at the 53-man roster, guys, and then we're going to look at the bubble, guys, okay? So we didn't run the ball much, okay? We really didn't. We ran the ball 13 times versus the Buccaneers who ran the ball 30 times. And keep in mind, we played all backups last night. So this is really disappointed for a couple players. Chase Brown really didn't have much to work with, in all honesty. He had a couple good runs, a couple good plays, but nothing too crazy special. Neither did Travion Williams. So for what it is, you know, I would say, again, yellow is kind of like you're the same. Going into this game, we are having pretty much the same opinion leaving the game about Chase Brown. Our opinion isn't 1,000% better. Our opinion isn't 1,000% less, right? Mike Isicki, same thing. Drew Sample and, of course, Eric All, all very much the same. Tanner Hudson, if he would have caught that pass at the end of the game, this might have been a green. But for what it is, it's a yellow. Red for Trent Brown. I don't... I don't think I think he did play, but again, like I said, there's there's nothing really about him. Amarius Mims did play, and he had a good game, but he only played a little bit. And oh, by the way, Trent Bond did not play, so this actually becomes a black. My bad. Um, but Amarius Mims did play, but he only played a quarter, and it was really disappointing because he only played seven games in college. So I would like to see more out of him, you know, especially in the preseason when it doesn't really matter that much. I want to see as much game tape as possible in Amarius Mims to know what we have in him. So that was kind of disappointing. Um, the rest of the offensive line was kind of eh, nothing special. Again, the first the starters only played one drive. Okay. It's not like they played that long. Now, the bubble players we're going to get to again in a second, those are the players that we really care about, Jackson Carmen. Um, Jamar Chase didn't play, so I put him as a red just because of the hold-in, but reality-wise, he's a red. Um, the receiver, Chuck Sizzle, did not play. Also going through here, Yoshi Burton, uh, Trenton Irwin, T. Higgins. Everyone but Trenton Irwin looked absolutely amazing in this game. Trenton Irwin did have a good catch. Actually, I'm going to give him a green. Because he did have that catch where he went up and got it over the one guy. So I'm going to actually have him as a green for this one. But pretty much all of our receivers looked good last night. Um, and again, like I said, keep in mind without, you know, what's his name? With Jake Browning in, our receivers didn't look fantastic. But I don't really blame them for that. Um, Cam Sample, Sam Hubbard, and Chuck Sizzle were all out of this game last night, and Trey Hendrickson. Um, Joseph Asai, BJ Hill, McKinley Jackson. McKinley was also out of that game last night. Um, Joseph Asai, Sheldon Rankins, and BJ Hill looked okay. Nothing crazy special. Um, Sheldon Rankins didn't play much at all. 
and B.J. Hill, he, he looked okay. Now for the pass rushers and linebackers and a little bit of Miles Murphy. Miles Murphy looked good. Uh, he didn't look good always, but he looked good enough to give him a green. Jermaine Pratt, Logan Wilson got yellows. So again, they didn't play much. Uh, for our secondary, Cam Taylor Britt, kind of same as always. DJ Turner looked good. Josh Newton had an interception after injury. Mike Hilton, eh. Dax Hill, I give him a red. Now, that's unpopular, right? Because Dax didn't look awful. He didn't. He had a lot of good things he did, but he dropped an interception, which led to them scoring a touchdown, by the way. He dropped an interception that led them scoring a touchdown. And he also went ahead and messed up on a blitz where he was single coverage with a four-string receiver, and he couldn't shut him down. And he allowed a huge reception, which again led to a touchdown. So, yeah, no. I'm going to give him a red for that night last night. It wasn't horrendous, but his stock is definitely down after last night. It, You, you can't do that kind of stuff, man. You're going to, again, if you're doing that against Chris Godwin or Mike Evans, I'm not going to blame you. But when you're doing that against a four-string receiver who might not make the team and might be flipping patties next week, Oh, next month, you're going to have to get a red for me, buddy. Anyway, Logan Woodside, absolute red, JK. Absolute green, Logan Woodside, bubble player, absolutely had a fantastic night. Once he came in for Jake Browning, we learned how bad Jake Browning truly was. Rocky Lombardi didn't play. Um, he was suited up, but he just simply did not play. Chris Evans, Noah Kane, and Elijah Collins. Collins did actually have a pretty good reception in this game uh, and led to that final drive where we needed to score a touchdown. Obviously, we ended up losing. Um, oh, it's like second to final drive. Um, but Chris Evans and Noah Kane didn't really do much of anything. Tanner McLaughlin had a pretty good catch in this game, which, again, puts him there. Cam Grady didn't really do much. For the offensive line, it's the backup offensive line. For the most part, nothing crazy special. They didn't do anything good. They didn't do anything bad. Jackson Carmen, absolutely horrendous. Um, cost us 45 yards in penalties. Uh, missed his guy on repeated occasions. Couldn't block anything. And it was a mess. And you know why? Because he was right tackle in this game. I don't know what Zach needs to hear, or what we need to tell Zach here. Zach, stop putting him at right tackle. I don't know why, but Jackson Carmen does not know how to play right tackle. He's pretty dang good, almost to a point where I could say he is a above average player when he is a left tackle. He is good at left tackle. Put him at left tackle, and if you're going to put him as a backup, never put him at right tackle. For whatever reason, this guy cannot play right tackle in the NFL. I don't know what about. It's kind of funny, too, because usually left tackle is considered a harder position to play. And you would think if he could play left tackle, he could play right tackle. He cannot play right tackle. I don't know if he's dyslexic or something like that where he just can't see his right side. I'm not sure. But at the same time, you got to stop putting him at right tackle. He's not good at right tackle. I don't know why this is a constant thing we keep doing. He's going to suck every single time he's put at right tackle. Every single time. He's never been good at right tackle. He was a playoff, startable player at left tackle. Cedric Jackson, Kendrick Fryer, Kwame all had good days. Um, defensive line, um, Davis didn't play, but Gunner, Carter, and... Um, Gunner and Carter played, eh, okay. And again, the only guy really that played really that great was Cedric Johnson. Did have a sack in this game. Shout out to him. Shaka Haywood had half a sack in this game. Um, and then Anthony, before he got hurt, oh, I guess hurt. He had a bloody nose. Before he got a bloody nose, actually played pretty good football in this game. So, very, very exciting for that. But overall-wise, I think it was a good first game. Um, we have a lot of stuff to work on, though. And I think... That's kind of what you want, right? You don't want to go into a preseason game and look perfect and then come out and say, okay, what do we have to do next? You want to know what you have to do next. So I think this is a really good stepping stone and we have a lot of stuff that we're going to have to work on and perfect and get better because this needs to, you know, really change around going into next week. So shout out to the boys for our first game and let's go. Only two injuries in this game. 
Josh Newton came back from the injury in the end, which was awesome. And then obviously we had an injury to Anthony, who he looks like he'll be fine and okay. But tell me down below your thoughts, opinions. Who day, guys? Who